Hi there. Are you in sales? Are you a real estate agent? The reason I ask is because someone asked me recently what I thought the difference between a female agent and a male agent was. And I really had to think about it for a minute. Um, you know, I'm thinking, well, there's more female agents in the United States than there are male agents, so go girl power. But you know what? On a deeper level than that, I began to think of the actual differences. So obviously, we're wired differently, thank God. Um, but in addition, our biochemistry is different also. Men have testosterone, and that tends to make, um, make for a more assertive, perhaps more confident um, demeanor, whereas women have estrogen, and that tends to make us more caretaker. And I, I realize I'm being really general here, so just bear with me, um, because I've talked to, I've talked to, I've trained, I've taught thousands of people. So I'm, I'm basing this on my experience and all the people I've talked to and, and you know, observed over the years. So here's the thing. Women have always heard that we have this glass ceiling, um, and I disagree. I don't think we have a glass ceiling. I think we have a subconscious ceiling. I think that based on our programming from youth, um, from society, from whatever, it doesn't matter. We think that we can only go to a certain extent in life. We think that we, we hit our head on this glass ceiling. I don't believe that there is a glass ceiling. I believe that that subconscious ceiling is something that we have installed ourselves. Okay, and what happens with that glass ceiling that's not a glass ceiling is it results in self-sabotaging behavior. So you get just so far or you get a few deals in escrow and then things just fall apart or you do something to really, you know, just ruin yourself or, or make these deals go bad or make your boyfriend leave you or whatever it is. You know, that's self-sabotage. That's, that's when celebrities in Hollywood have everything in the world going for them and then they decide to like OD or go like hit a cop. You know, that's self-sabotage. Self -sabotage. See, I'm all excited now. So here's the thing. The good news about the subconscious ceiling not being glass, besides the fact that we won't cut our heads on it, is that subconscious programming can be changed. We can rewire our brains, okay? Neuroscience now knows this. It recognizes something called neuroplasticity. Neuroplasticity allows us to create new neural networks and new neural pathways that then result in different moods, different behaviors, up, oh, inspired action. Okay, so we're not just running around on autopilot anymore, doing things the way we've always done without knowing why we're doing them or what we're doing and why things end up messed up. What we're doing is intentional. We're installing software that gives us confidence and courage so that we can take calculated risk, we can make smart moves, we can have the courage to go outside of our comfort zone, we can make those calls, we can talk to people, we can believe in ourselves. I mean, that's the most valuable thing of all, if you ask me. So I, my name is Tamara Doris. I have been studying neuroscience, subconscious studies, um, quantum physics for about 20 years. I'm a certified hypnotherapist. I've also simultaneously been in the real estate industry for 26 years. So I've kind of married those two together and now I serve the female community of the real estate industry. Um, nothing bad against men. You know, if you're an enlightened guy, come on over. But there's just so many differences in the way that a woman works versus the way that a man works. And I've observed it so long and I noticed, you know, all the coaches, well, most of the coaches out there tend to be males and it's a numbers game. It's go knock on a hundred doors and you'll get a sale. And I'm like, a hundred doors, that would be so hard on my high heels. I'm not going to do that, right? And, and not only is it not a numbers game, I don't think my prospects or clients want to be considered a number. Women don't close deals. Women open relationships. So what I help people do, what I help women do in the real estate industry is create relationship-based businesses, referral-based businesses, and lives that they love. It's not just about closing, you know, 50 transactions or 100 transactions a year. It's about creating a life and a business that you love, that you get so excited to get up in the morning and get to work. So if you want to click above the link that I put up there, there's a presentation. It's almost an hour long. So pour a glass of wine, watch it, and see what you think, because I think it might really touch you. Now I will tell you, all you have to do is register. It's absolutely free, I'm not trying to sell you anything. And even if you can't make it the time that it says, go ahead and register anyway, and then I'll send you the replay. Okay, so again, my name is Tamara Doris. My website is tamaradoris.com. I hope to hear from you. Have a great day and stay inspired.